space season is heating up big time. Hundreds of millions of dollars are flowing into the market right now. The meme coin market is taking off. Solana memes are going absolutely crazy. Tokens are reaching billions of dollars in market cap. But as far as base meme coins go, we are so unbelievably early. You can look at the top 20 tokens on CoinGecko for base and you're already under 10 mil market cap, meaning there is so little competition in the base meme coin space compared to the Solana meme coin space that the chance of succeeding is so, so much higher. All the attention is on Solana right now, but I guarantee you very, very soon it's going to shift towards base. So in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you how you can create your very own million dollar base token from scratch. I haven't really found any easy to follow base token creation guides out there on YouTube or on Google or anywhere really. So that's why I'm here in this video. I'm going to show you guys exactly how it's done and I'm going to make it so simple and easy to follow that anybody can do this. By the end of this video, in five to 10 minutes from now, I'm going to have a completed token in my wallet ready to be traded by anybody live out there for the whole world to buy. Now, if that sounds good, perfect. Let me hop into my computer and let's begin. So first things first, you need to have an Ethereum compatible wallet. I recommend MetaMask. It's by far the most trustworthy wallet out there for Ethereum and base. So if you don't have that, download it and come back to this video. If you do, great, we're ready to move on. Now you can do this all on your computer or your phone, but I seriously recommend you do it on your computer. It just makes it 10 times easier. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. All right, so let's jump into it. Head over to bedrocktools.io, which is the platform we're going to be using to create our base tokens. And once we're on Bedrock, we're gonna go over here to the top right and connect our wallet to the site. You can just click here, connect, connect your wallet, sign, and then you're good to go. Now you can see there's a step-by-step -step guide on the website, which is helpful, but because you're watching this video, you probably don't need that. I'm gonna show you guys how it's done all in this video. Step number one, we need to think of a name for our token. We cannot create a token without a name. We need to have an idea. So if you have an idea for your token already, fantastic. If you don't, do some meme coin market research. So for this video, I'm going to create a token called Ninja Cat. Now, quick disclaimer, I'm not going to actually launch this token with a huge liquidity pool, which means that nobody's really gonna be able to buy this, but I'm gonna show you guys how it's done to launch it the correct way. I just don't want people to buy this token and say that I created a token and blah, blah, blah. As you guys may or may not know, I already have a token on Solana called Hammy, Staring Hamster Coin. It's worth a couple million dollars right now and that is my main focus. So I'm just gonna focus on that. But I wanted to make this video for educational purposes only to show you guys how it's done on base. Now that we have our idea, we're ready to start making our token. So let's begin. I'm gonna call this Ninja Cat. Ninja cat. Symbol is going to be N cat. For the decimals, I recommend 18. That's just default. Now for the supply, this is where you choose how many tokens you want to have. Most meme coins have 1 billion tokens. That's just an easy number for everyone to remember. So for this video, we're going to do 1 billion tokens. So that's nine zeros. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now you may be noticing there's no option right here for a logo. With base tokens, you do not create the logo when you create the token. That's all added after on Dex Screener and Dex Tools. So this is pretty much all you need to create your token. We have Ninja Cat, N Cat symbol, supply 1 billion and decimals 18. That all looks fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on create token. Transaction will pop up and you can see the details of your transaction. This is a summary. So it's going to cost you 0 0.03 ETH and you can see right here, you will receive 1 billion tokens. It doesn't say the name of your token yet because it doesn't exist. But as soon as that token is in your wallet, it's gonna be called Ninja Cat and you'll see it all there, 1 billion tokens ready to go. So this all looks fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm. Now it takes about a minute or so for your transaction to complete. Depending on how busy the network is, sometimes it's really busy and it could take a couple minutes. Just go ahead and click on MetaMask. You can see right here, the transaction is still pending. So whenever that's complete, like it is right now, completed, we have our token ready to go. This pop-up just happened right here, our token address, and we're gonna copy that. The token is already in our wallet, but to get it to show on MetaMask, we're gonna go over here to MetaMask, click on Import Tokens, and we're gonna copy this one token address right here. We're gonna copy that, click on Custom Token, and paste it right here. Information will populate right here. Click on Next. You can see NCAT, 1 billion NCAT, and click import. Now, if we go to our MetaMask wallet again, you will see we have 1 billion NCAT in our wallet, ready to go. So we've created our token successfully. Fantastic, that is the first step completed. You guys can see how it really isn't that complicated. Now what we need to do is get our token ready to be launched so it is officially live and traded by everyone. So to do that, we're gonna go over here to manage token and we're going to go to add liquidity. Now to explain these sections real quick, once you create your liquidity pool, your token is live. After you create your liquidity pool, you're going to go down here and click on burn LP tokens and burn those liquidity pool tokens that you get. I'll explain all of that in a second. Some of these steps you do not need to do. Those are for tax tokens. This is just a regular base token, nice and simple. So right now we're just gonna do add liquidity and burn LP token. So first things first, add liquidity. Now this is the important part. This is what determines the price of your token when you launch it. The more liquidity, the better, truly. I would recommend at least 0.5 Ethereum to one Ethereum. 
Any more than that's great. Obviously, the more the merrier, the more ETH you have, the better. Why should you have more ETH in your starting liquidity pool? Because it sets your token up for the long run to be more successful when it goes to higher market caps. If you have a very small liquidity pool and your token's worth $10 million, somebody sells, the price is gonna fluctuate a lot because there isn't a huge liquidity pool people can buy and sell into. The bigger the liquidity pool is, the more stable the token is, and the less volatile it is. So once again, I recommend at least 0.5 Ethereum. One ETH is the sweet spot. And ultimately, you're going to be burning this money. So once you create the liquidity pool, nobody's gonna buy it unless you have burned the LP tokens. Because if you don't burn your liquidity pool tokens, your LP tokens, when people are looking at your chart, they can see that the liquidity pool is unlocked, which means you can pull all those tokens out at any time, essentially pulling the rug underneath people's feet, and that's what's called a rug pull. And that's just scamming. We're not here to scam anybody. But if they see that you have a locked liquidity pool, that means that that pool is safe to buy and sell into, and nobody's gonna take all that money and run. So nobody's going to buy your token unless your liquidity pool is locked. Just wanna let you guys know that. So that's something that you need to do when you're launching your token, if you are serious about launching a token. I'm gonna do one ETH, and I'm gonna do almost 100% of my supply. Just like how people aren't gonna wanna buy if they see the liquidity pool is not locked, they're also not gonna wanna buy if they see that one wallet has 10, 15, 20% of the entire supply, because that wallet could just sell and then you know tank the price of the token. So if I was going to actually launch this token, I would do one ETH and then 100% of the supply. If I wasn't doing 100% of the supply, I would do maybe 95% or something like that. I'm gonna do 100% for this video, and I'm gonna do 0 0.0000001 ETH as a liquidity pool, so nobody can really buy and sell. But once again, if I did a one ETH liquidity pool, people will be buying and selling and my token would be launched the right way. Now to create our liquidity pool, we need to approve our tokens to be sent to the liquidity pool. So I'm gonna go over here and click on approve. We are approving all of our tokens to be sent to the liquidity pool. Click next, click approve. Wait a couple seconds on base, transactions are fairly quick. So you don't have to wait too long. Great, successfully approved. And now it's gonna to change to add liquidity. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. You can see I'm losing 1 billion tokens. That's going to the liquidity pool. And I'm going to receive 31.62 tokens in return. Those are your liquidity pool tokens. These tokens right here serves as a receipt showing that you sent 1 billion tokens to the liquidity pool. And these are the tokens that we need to burn to lock our liquidity pool so we can't pull all of that money back out. But this once again is just a receipt showing that you added liquidity to the pool, giving you LP tokens. So looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm. And once this token is officially launched, you will see it on deck screener live new pairs. And there we have it, Ninja Cat pops up right here on the top. Our token is officially created. If I click on that, you'll see the chart. It shows this pair has very little liquidity because I launched it with very little liquidity, but that warning would not be there if you launched with 0.5 ETH or one ETH or more. Now that we've launched our token, it is live. We need to go ahead and burn our LP tokens very quickly. This will automatically be populated in here. You don't really need to do much. Just go ahead and click on 100% and click on burn liquidity. Boom. If your token isn't already added into here, just add your token address. There we go. We've officially burned all of our liquidity pool tokens. Now, if we go back to deck screener, our liquidity is going to be locked in a couple minutes once it updates. You'll see a nice little lock emoji here. Now you can see down here, one issue is the ownership is not renounced. Whether the contract creator has renounced ownership of this token has no special privileges to control it. That's the next thing we need to do. To renounce ownership, I'm gonna go over here to renounce ownership. Click on Renounce Ownership. Once again, our token is already populated in there. We don't need to do anything. If it's not, just enter your token address and then boom, and click on Confirm. Now we've officially renounced our ownership. We've created our token. We've made it live. We've launched the liquidity pool for it. We've burnt our LP tokens, essentially locking the liquidity pool, and we've renounced our ownership of that contract, meaning that this contract is out there now. We can't change any of it. It is immutable, and we're launched. It's as simple as that. Now all we need to do to add our logo, our website, all that fun stuff is go down to Deck Screener, Update token information, go to Dex Tools, click their update token information. I'll show you guys that right now. Enter the contract and right there, Ninja Cat. And then in here, we just click update right here. And this is where we add our logo. So then you can have your logo right here. Ninja Cat would be showing, logo will be live. You'd have your website link right there. Twitter link, Telegram link on Dex Tools and Dex Screener. All right, now to update your token information even more on Base Scan to add your logo there, more information, all that fun stuff, go to basescan.org, make an account. You need to have an account for this, so just sign up with your email. It takes two seconds. Uh, if you guys can't find your token address, once again, just go back to Bedrock, Manage Token. Token address should already be there. You can just copy that, go back to Base Scan and click Paste. I'll go here, Paste. There we go, Ninja Cat. Click that, and then we go down here to Information and click on update token information. Now we're logged in. I'm gonna go ahead and click on update token information. Paste the contract address once again. Click next. We need to verify using this tool. I'm gonna to open this in a new tab. There we go. Connect to Web3, okay. MetaMask, sign Web3, the same watt, connect. There we go, confirm. 
click to proceed and verify ownership. Okay, and here we have our token update application form. This is where you can add your logos, your website, coin market cap links, any information about your public sale or token information, tokenomics, all that fun stuff can be updated here in Basecamp. And when you're done, just go down to the bottom and click on submit. And there you go. You're done. You've successfully created your base token. It is live. It is traded. It is updated. It is on all Dex screener, Dex tools, websites, charting websites, burden your liquidity, renounce ownership. You are a developer now. You are good to go. I really hope this video helped you out. If it did, give me a like and subscribe. If you followed along and created your own token, I wish you the most success possible. I wish you all of the success. That being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care.